Ladies and gents, how are you guys doing today? Guten Tag. I don't know, I just felt saying that. Welcome to the stress test for the Retina MacBook Pro 13 inch which was released this week at the Apple event and I've got my hands on one. If for some odd reason you want to see an unboxing, why would you want to see an unboxing? It's on your screen, I've done one. So in this test I'm going to do two tests. The first one on your screen is loading up all these meaty applications. I've got Adobe CS6 to full suite plus more goodies from the um, App Store. I'm going to open them at the same time, see how fast or slow the machine is and what the temperatures of the MacBook is uh, in the process of doing so. So let's go ahead and start the first test. So here's the really cool thing, even with all these applications now running, the Retina MacBook Pro isn't getting hot, or the fans aren't kicking in. So the temperature right now is, as you can see on screen, here are the temperatures with all these heavy applications running. I've got the camera application, the whole Adobe suite running, which includes Illustrator, InDesign, uh, Photoshop, Photoshop and a few others, and it's performing really well so far. So this next test is going to be very interesting. I have all these video files here which have gone on my YouTube channel over the past couple of months and I'm going to play them at the same time. They will autoplay once QuickTime opens and make a note of these temperatures here. Let's see if they change or if they don't change and if the fans do come on because I expect them to. It's one, two, three. Haha, <laughs> chill on that bad boy. And let's take a look at the temperatures, shall we? Zoom in. And there we go. There's literally about 25 videos playing at the same time and they're still opening up. The temperature has gone up. The beach ball has appeared, so that's probably not a good sign. And the sound has just completely, just, there's not even any point in opening the sound up because it's just so bad. Let's turn it down instead of putting it on mute. So here it is, the videos have all opened up pretty much and this one has just hung because it's just lagging so bad. As you can see, the temperature has gone up by about 6 to 7 degrees. The interesting thing is, let me mute this, there is no fans kicking in, the heat issue, um, you can't see this, like the 15 inch retina did on comparison, um, the fans kind of kicked in effective immediately, so this is kind of performing better. I'm actually surprised QuickTime hasn't crashed it and you can see the you know, video behind me is lagging, temperature has gone up by another 1 degrees, so it's kind of good, I was, I was expecting the fans to kick in because I really want to see how bad the fans kind of sound once that full blast um, but that hasn't happened so far um, let's move on to test number 3 so seeing as the fans aren't kicking in despite doing meaty tests it's going to be half to done manually so this is a program called SMC Fan Control most of you have probably heard that where you can manually uh, control the fans of your Mac Let's press save and see the damage it does. Fans kicking in. Three, two, one. Hope you can hear that. And the fans are 
located right about here in this space and I can tell you um, it's loud and again this is going at full blast bearing in mind not sure when this would actually happen uh, the tests I've done so far um, the fans haven't even kicked in a tiny bit so that is quite remarkable bearing in mind this machine has been on overnight as well haven't put it off it has been on constantly so um, that is pretty nice I must say and ladies and gents, last but not least, I could not do this meaty stress test without giving you a speed test of how fast the disc uh, speed is. So, start. Oof, meaty. There we go. It's about 305 megabits per second. Read is, oof. That is similar to the speed of an A380. Then again, I don't know what a speed of an A380 is, but... Uh, from what I'm getting here, that is pretty, pretty insane. Let's go down here, show you all this, because this is where the magic happens. But ladies and gents, that is it for this video. I hope it's helped you in the decision-making process, whether this machine is for yourself or maybe it's not. It's not for me, simply because the specs don't match with the price here in the UK at least. You might as well be better off with a 15-inch retina. Um, but what are your thoughts? Have you picked one up? Have you picked a 15 inch retina up? How well does it compare? Have you done something similar? How are you finding your first Mac or your new Mac? Whatever it may be, leave it in the comments below and I shall see you in another life. Cheers! I can't believe this. I'm one kilogram over the limit and you're asking me to pay extra. Look sir, unless you're going to pay extra or you're going to actually remove some items, you're not actually going to be able to travel today, okay? Now move along, you're holding This the is line. absolutely f***ing ridiculous. There's nobody behind me, you p I hope you trip over that f***ing van valve of yours and you f break your neck, you Sir, <laughs> any more attitude like that and I'm gonna offload you from the flight and I'll probably end up slapping the Hell with you! That's ass, the last okay? time I fly with your damn company! Bro, are you mad? Are you mad, bro? All you really need is an iGear Garmin. Featured in The Herald, The Journal, The Gadget Show and The British Force News, as well as other media outlets.